from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, temperatures sure were a lot nicer out there today. We saw those high temperatures in the low to the mid 80s and some great news. Those cooler temperatures are here to stick around for at least the next seven days. Today we were able to dodge a lot of the rain. We are starting to have some showers move in and as we head throughout the rest of the night tonight, parts of the peninsulas as well as inland Virginia are under a level one threat. So we could be seeing some stronger winds picking up in some of these storms that could be rolling through. I'm not too too terribly concerned with severe weather tonight. I'm more concerned with the activity that we're going to be seeing for tomorrow. So we are going to be starting right about sunrise, seeing a lot more of that stronger storm activity moving through and continuing pretty much throughout the entire day on Sunday. Not an all day event, but it's going to be moving from the north to the south and we could be having a second round as we get into tomorrow evening. So with that, we are seeing temperatures tonight dropping down into the lower 70s. Tomorrow we'll be seeing temperatures warming up into the mid 80s. We do have a level two threat for most of us throughout the day tomorrow, and we do have a level one threat for severe weather for the eastern shore as well as the peninsulas. So what threats are we talking about? Well, pretty much everything is on the table for us, especially seeing some of those high winds as well as heavy rain. Could also be seeing some large hail and can't rule out some isolated spin up tornadoes. Make sure that you do have your weather alerts turned on as we do head throughout the entire day tomorrow. We also have a level one risk for or flash flooding, so I wouldn't be surprised to see especially those typical flood prone areas seeing some minor flooding as we do have those heavy downpours rolling through throughout the day tomorrow. So again, tomorrow the severe threat for us. We will be catching a dry break for the day on Monday, but we do definitely still need to have some more rain as we've been about three over three inches below where we should be for this month for the uh, month of July here. We are going to be seeing more scattered storms returning to our forecast throughout Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and into Saturday and check out those high temperatures staying in the upper 70s to the lower 80s.